What's up, everybody? Doc Dog 1985. There's levels to this. Puppy, listen to me. It's avowed the new Starfield. Ooh, that's a good title. You know, you know, I know that you know that's a good title. Because, see, Starfield is the game of the generation. That can't be denied. It's the game that's been talked about the most and probably will continue to be talked about the most. And whenever you put Starfield in the title of a video, you're going to get clicks. Trust me, I know this. I tested this out myself. So don't, 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 don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Okay? You're like, oh, that got me. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. But no, this is a real video. This is such a real video that everything is closed back there. No, she just got tired of hearing you guys talk trash about the bathroom and the laundry room and everything. It is what, you know what? We're not doing this. Hold on. Much better. Doc Dog went on a five. There's levels to this. <laughs> Yo, somebody came at me for having that open. Anyways, is avowed the new Starfield. What do you what do you mean by that, Doc? Well, let's remember what happened with Starfield. Starfield was placed on a pedestal so high that Regardless of how great or not great the game was, it was never going to reach what it was placed on. Now, I'm not saying that Starfield is flawless. No, no, not at all. But because the pedestal was so high and the expectation was so high for Starfield, placed by Xbox fans, any chink in the armor was viewed even that much worse. These are facts. Starfield got destroyed. Starfield wasn't touted as what it should have been because of the placement that it was put on, okay? I remember always questioning what Starfield was about. I didn't understand the hype behind it. I just didn't get it. I didn't see enough. Even though there was a lot out there, I just didn't understand it. Finally, Starfield comes out, and I love the game because my expectation for the game wasn't the same as everybody else's. The thing that I hated the most about Starfield is the 30 frames. But everything else about Starfield, I thoroughly enjoy. The loading screens don't bother me. They really don't. And the whole I can't explore empty planets or all the planets are empty doesn't bother me either because I don't play games like that. So to me, Starfield was perfect. Okay? Well, not perfect because it ran at 30 frames. However... It was placed on an incredible pedestal. Avow now is a game that Xbox fans are talking about and that myself as an Xbox fan, I don't understand the hype behind this game. Like, what have you seen from this game that makes you feel that excited about it? And the last thing I want to hear is, well, it's developed by so-and-so. I, I don't care. If you are in 2024 still rating games... Before they come out, based off who developed them, you are a fool. There has only been maybe one or two studios that have been consistent on what they do and what they produce and has been hit after hit after hit. Maybe one or two studios, okay? And I'm sorry to say, Bethesda's not one of them, right? Now, I don't know who's making a, a vow. Is it Obsidian? I don't, I don't know who's making it. You guys could have But it, it doesn't matter who's making it. Because even CD Projekt Red came back after making uh, The Witcher 3 and dropped Cyberpunk, right? If there was another game in between there, let me know. But again, these, these developers or whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're, you're only as good as your last project. That's it, right? So when a vow comes out, then we will rate it. But I got a fear that we are placing a vow on that same pedestal as we did Starfield and we should be very careful. Redfall was another one that was placed on this pedestal as all oh, Redfall is going to come out and it's amazing. Even people that got to play Redfall early, which I don't understand, didn't see the flaws of Redfall and we went ahead and we paid for it and we believed it, right? Let's not put any of these games on a pedestal, all right? Let's just not do it. Hellblade, though, that is a game that I do know about, and I know what Hellblade is about, so I'm excited for Hellblade. But 
Avowed, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't trust it. I, I'm just being honest with you. So if you could give me a good reason as to why I should be excited for Avowed, let me know. But until then, let the record show. Doc Dog 985 ain't putting that game on a pedestal. Not even close. Hellblade, I'll take the risk and put that one on a pedestal. So I hope they don't mess up. Indiana Jones, I'm not excited for Indiana Jones. I didn't even... I never knew there were so many Indiana Jones fans, and I didn't know there were so many Wolverine fans either. That Since when? But I don't know. It is what it is. Dog Dog 1 on A5. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.